who die of lung cancer is greater amongst <laughs> yes smokers versus non-smokers okay your sample information looks like this you have smokers you have non-smokers number of successes total in the sample let's let's say we had a sample of a hundred smokers in which um, oh let's say 15 died of lung cancer and then of the non-smokers you can have a sample of 150 okay in which eight died of lung cancer so now we're going to use the one percent level of significance to test this claim. Okay? So what's the hypothesis? What's the what's the setup? We say we have here what? The proportion. Oh, this is a proportion. The proportion of people who die of lung cancer is greater amongst smokers versus non-smokers. So we're going to compare the smokers and the who? Non-smokers. Proportion of smokers versus proportion of non-smokers. If they're saying the proportion is greater for smokers, then they're saying just that. It's greater. And that is a null or alternate hypothesis. So that's the proportion of smokers is greater. Proportion, sorry, the proportion of people who die, given that they smoke, is greater than the proportion, given that they don't smoke. So this here is proportion of smoke less than or equal to the proportion who non-smoke. These are opposites. Your decision rule is what kind of test? A right tail or a left tail? Right tail. You look at the alternate hypothesis, it's a right tail. This is the do not reject the null region. This is the reject the null region. What is your alpha? 1%. Alpha is 1%. The hardest part is finding the critical value. So if alpha is 1%, you're looking for 49% working backwards on your Z table. And what do you get as a Z value? 1.2 what? 1.28. OK, so let's. It's not? 2.33? Okay. Okay, here's our test statistic. Test statistic is that first sample proportion minus the second sample proportion divided by the square root of 
your pooled proportion, the complement of the pooled proportion over the first sample size, plus the pooled proportion minus the pooled proportion, I'm sorry, the complement of the pooled proportion over the second sample, si second sample size. So we need the proportion of smokers who have died due to lung cancer versus the proportion of non-smokers who have died due to lung cancer. And those values are what? Isn't that what? 15 over 100. What's the other one? 8 over 150. So 15 over 100 turns out to be point what? 1.5. And what is 8 over 150? What's that going to be? Huh? Zero point zero five. So notice this is kind of where just this is just sample information. The sample information says that you're three times more likely to die of lung cancer if you smoke. That's what this means. I and mean, when you read this stuff, they go, What do you mean you're three times more likely? Mm hmm Yeah, okay. You can say P hat, yeah, P hat, okay, yes. Let's talk about this. This, exactly. In the book, they call this a bar, and I think they have this as what? A P with a carrot. P hat, yeah. Uh, that's true. Uh, the notation that we're using here is what you see here. Which is, I can't, see, one of the reasons I kept this notation is because it's analogous to, I think we erased it, over here. See this? And see, here's what happened in the past. What happened in the past with that other notation is that people would see, ah, oh, sample mean. And then they see the p hat and they think sample purport, they would always get it backwards. Uh, you know, they'd get it backwards. They think, oh, that's supposed to be. No, that's the pooled proportion. So what I did was keep the same consistency and then called that squiggle with the idea that they won't remember a squiggle, but you're right. It is, it's backwards, you know. Um, so it's like pick your poison. The problem is there's not enough symbols and letters to represent these ideas. So here, this is why I kept this consistency, that the definition I gave here for you is a sample proportion. It was a P with that line because it, you had the x bar. And then we called that squiggle. So this is your pooled proportion. And um, it's that number, it's the pooled number of successes over the pooled sample size. So number of successes, total number of successes, 15 plus 8, 100 plus 150, and you get 23 over 250, the pooled proportion is that what? It's about, it's a little bit less than 10%, right? Which is 0 0.092. That's your pooled proportion. All this information you're going to use to plug into your test statistic formula. So write down the test statistic formula. Sample proportion of the first group minus sample proportion of the second group over that pooled proportion and the complement, first sample size, that pooled proportion and the complement, second sample size. So what's the first one? What's the first group? Is it smokers or non-smokers? So this is the first, and this is the what? Second. So what's the first? It's the 0.15 minus 0 0.05. Square root of. Here's what we're going to have to take focus on. You see this? This is the pooled proportion. It's 0 0.092. 
So you take 0 0.092, now multiply it by the complement of 0 0.092. One minus point zero nine two. Point nine oh eight divided by what's the first sample size? A hundred, good. Plus the same thing. Point zero nine two times point nine oh eight. Divided by what's the second sample size? One fifty. Okay, so here's how you enter this in your calculator. Because the real issue is really, at this point, probably entering that in your calculator. In your calculator, you got this in parentheses, you got the outside in parentheses, and again, put parentheses around the computation that you're going to have to do inside here. Meaning, the outside parentheses just tells the calculator everything that comes between this is under the radical. This set says, give me the value when you multiply and you divide. Add it with the value when you multiply and it divide here. What do you get as a, what is it? Test statistic is 3.46. So 3.46, where does that live on our decision rule? Where is that at? Our critical value is 2.33. Is it to the right or is it to the left? How do you know it's to the right? It's larger. Larger values live to the right. More importantly, that test statistic is in the reject the null region. Reject your null. Reject your null. If you reject your null, rejecting this statement, you are accepting the what? Alternate. Your sample, the sample information, is actually supporting the claim that the proportion of people who die, or the proportion of people who die of lung cancer, is greater amongst the, the smokers versus the non-smokers. And again, when you say, people say, ah, yes, that's the, ca that's the case, go back to the sample proportion information. Sample proportion, this information says essentially that it's about three times what? Three times higher. And so whenever you read those reports, you read these articles, you read these sort of things where it says, and it says it all the time, hey, guess what, this is happening. And in fact, it's happening at the rate three times faster. That's where this, this is where, where they get it from. Okay? That's where they get it from. Amen? Okay, let's see. What do you think the hardest part is of what we did today? What's the hardest part? You, you got a formula, and then what? Plug it in. Is that the hardest part? 